Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, October 2021, Question 10. Given that 1 plus cos 2 theta plus sine 2 theta is not equal to 0, we need to prove that 1 minus cos 2 theta plus sine 2 theta all over 1 plus cos 2 theta plus sine 2 theta is identical to tan theta. So here's our expression from the left hand side. We're going to use the double angle formula to replace the cos 2 thetas and the sine 2 thetas. But one thing we're going to be careful of here is we're going to use the variance of the cos 2 theta identities that will get rid of those ones. So on the top, we're going to replace cos 2 theta with 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. So as we can see quite quickly, that will cancel out those ones. And on the bottom, we're going to replace the cos 2 theta with 2 cos squared theta minus 1, again, to cancel out the ones. Sine 2 thetas are both replaced with 2 sine theta cos theta. Simplifying those, we get 2 sine squared theta plus 2 sine theta cos theta on top, and 2 cos squared theta plus 2 sine theta cos theta on the bottom. Well, all of those terms are multiples of 2, so let's cancel those out. We can now see that on the top, we've got two terms which are multiples of sine. On the bottom, we've got two terms which are multiples of cos. So let's factorize those out. We can now cancel the sine theta plus cos theta top and bottom, which leaves us with sine theta over cos theta. Well, this is exactly the same as tan theta, which is what we were aiming for. Part B, hence solve for x between zero and 180 degrees, one minus cos 4x, plus sine 4x over 1 plus cos 4x plus sine 4x is equal to 3 sine 2x. So the important thing here is that word hence. It means we're going to use our work from part A, make part B a lot simpler. And we can do that by seeing that the left hand side of both equations are very, very similar. All that's happened is the 2 theta in A has been replaced with a 4x in B. So using the fact that the left hand side of the top equation became a tan with half as many degrees in it, we're going to do the same thing here. So the left hand side is going to simplify to tan 2x, 2x being half of 4x, and that's going to be equal to the 3 sine 2x that we've been given in the question. Well, tan is equal to sine over cos. Multiplying both sides by the cos gives us sine 2x equals 3 sine 2x cos 2x. Moving everything to one side, we have sine 2x minus 3 sine 2x cos 2x equals 0. And factorizing is a sine 2x times 1 minus 3 cos 2x equals 0. We're now going to solve this by making those two separate terms equal to 0. So if sine 2x is equal to 0, then 2x must equal 0, 180 or 360. But looking at our x inequality, we can see that x is strictly between 0 and 180. And looking at what we've got so far, halving 0 and 360 would give us those bounds, but we're not allowed to be exactly on the bound. So the only answer is x is equal to 90 by halving the 180 there. If the bracket is equal to 0, then that would make cos 2x equal a third. Inverse cos on our calculator gives us that 2x is equal to 70.529, or 360 minus that, which is 289.47. Halving that gives us 35.3 and 144.7. So there are our answers, 35.3 degrees, 90 degrees, and 144.7 degrees. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.